did not send us a representative. However, they have sent us words. And I think the words that they would have sent us is an indication of the interest, their commitment, and their partnership with the NHCS. At this point in time, I am going to invite our senior technical officer, Mr. Paul Diamond, to come forward and give us those remarks. Paul. Thank you. Um, I'm not really used to making public uh, speeches, but I'll, I'll give it a shot. Uh, before I read the, uh, the statement from uh, the, the, the Canadian High Commission in Barbados has sent, I'd just like to preface by saying uh, these two projects, the biodiversity and the oral history projects, when you see the labs inside, you'll know that they're not, they're not temporary projects. They're not you know, something you get money for, you do for you know, two weeks and then you forget about it. These projects will be doing teaching skills in video editing, video production, desktop publishing, web design, uh, web maintenance. We've already uh, got a whole series of uh, training projects worked out to support AMBA's uh, play project. We're hoping to do like a website maybe for the play to support it, you know, have students actually do it themselves. Uh, maybe cut a, a trailer, uh, film some of the rehearsals for AMBA's new play and then do a, a re like a, you know, like a movie trailer on TV, you know, for the upcoming thing. Just things to get the, the kids excited, the students excited, and teach them some uh, real-world job skills. Anyway, on to uh, to CETA. So I'm wearing my, uh, I am Canadian. I've got my Canadian flag. I was going to wear my, you know, my uh, Toronto uh, Maple Leafs uh, hockey jersey, but I thought I'd be a little bit over the top. Okay, so I'll read the, uh, the, the reason why the Canadian High Commissioner couldn't be here today is because there's a, uh, British uh, naval ship in port in Barbados and they're having a, a cocktail dinner or something this evening. <laughs> anyway, uh, the Canadian International Development Agency, CEDA, is pleased to be associated with this Biodiversity Research Centre, being opened today by the Nevis Historical Conservation Society. We want to congratulate the NHCS on this initiative, which will contribute to the protection of Nevis's environment through biodiversity and conservation. CEDA is the lead agency for Canada's official development assistance in the Caribbean and around the world. Its mandate is to support sustainable development in developing countries in order to reduce poverty and contribute to a more secure, equitable and prosperous world. Our support for the Nevis Biodiversity Research Centre was made through the Canada Fund for local initiatives which supports the work of community groups and other NGOs in undertaking small-scale projects that fit into CEDA's priority areas of poverty reduction, health, including HIV AIDS, basic education, equality between men and women, environmental sustainability, democratic governance, and private sector development. Canada has long recognized the need to maintain a healthy environment and is concerned about the degradation of ecosystems and the loss of species and genetic diversity resulting from human actions. To this end, Canada was the first industrialized country to ratify the UN Convention on Biological Diversity in 1992. This convention has three objectives. One, the conservation of biodiversity. Two, the sustainable use of biological resources. And three, the fair and equitable sharing of the benefits that result from the use of genetic resources. Canada has also developed a biodiversity strategy which presents the following vision. A, quote, a society that lives and develops as part of nature, valuing all life, taking no more than nature can replenish, and leaving to future generations a nurturing, nurturing and dynamic world rich in its diversity of life." Unquote. This is what we believe the NHCS is promoting in Nevis with this research centre. Caribbean islands support exceptionally diverse ecosystems, some of which are being gradually and not so gradually devastated. Recognizing, recognizing that governments cannot act alone, it's important that individuals, the private sector, and, pri and civil, soci civil society organizations like the NHCS also play their part in this critical work for the ecological, economic, social, and cultural well-being of, of present and future generations. See the supports See the support to the centre is for the purchasing of a range of equipment and materials that will be used to train students and other stakeholders to create and maintain a website listing the complete inventory of Neva's flora and fauna and marine resources. This website will contribute to understanding the situation with these resources and what 
might need to be done to ensure their sustainability. Our support will also go towards uh, training and geographic uh, information systems, so GIS mapping and survey work that will enable the mapping and, sur and study of changes over time in the environment and the protection of designated areas for conservation, such as the Nevis Peak uh, National Park Project and the, uh, the Marine Protected Area that is currently under consideration. The students are expected to pass on the knowledge acquired by mentoring younger students and giving public talks, tours and lectures. It is hoped this project will become an efficient and cost-effective model for other small island states for studying climate change, recording biodiversity and integrating research. We regret that there is, we are not there to celebrate with you and participate in this important event, but wish you success with the Biodiversity Centre and the Oral History and verbal patrimony uh, editing suite. Thank you.